My name is Hattie Brown. I'm the Conservation Science Program Manager for the Laguna Foundation, and I've been a part of a, a collaboration of many, many people and organizations that have been working to clean up a section of the Laguna that's been covered with trash and debris for many years. Um, previously, the Laguna wasn't even really flowing through this area. It was, it was dammed up because of the garbage. There were sections where we couldn't even see the water. And as a result of eight weeks of work of a crew of pulling the wood, debris, tires, and garbage out, the, the water is flowing again and the ecosystem is really beginning to recover. You can see a section here where the water is flowing. Uh, in contrast to an area just nearby, it's really more a picture of before. Lots of wood and debris uh, where, where the, the, the waterway was, was basically stagnant and not moving at all. And you're saying that this little patch here, that's what it looked like? That's more or less a picture of before, what, what the waterway looked like for about two miles stretch, upstream and down, um, completely obscured by wood and debris. Let's look at some of the garbage. Um, so you can see lots of tires, um, a few uh, iconic pieces of trash like our rubber deck. Um, an incredible number of balls. I was really shocked at how many um, balls, probably lost from dogs, didn't went, were tossed and weren't retrieved. Uh, and then lots of um, recycling and, and trash. Many, many, many um, plastic water bottles, um, glass uh, liquor bottles, and tires. Is that a TV over there? Or what is That's that? That's a TV. We also pulled out a hot water heater. Um, Several 50 gallon um, drums, unfortunately some that were actually full of oil. We had some, some full oil containers. Well, Luckily, um, as far as we know, didn't, didn't leak. They were still capped. Um, so is this the main garbage pile here? This is the main garbage pile and then the wood pile stretch as you can kind of see in a number of different areas for about two miles. Down, wow. down the Laguna. What will be done with the uh, wood? The wood will be burned. We're working with the Sonoma Biochar Initiative to um, help us do a con it's called a conservation burn so that um, the wood will will be burned but will be burned in a way that will actually the, the ash and the char that's a result of that will be beneficial to the soil and will will help the agriculture on site. It's active, it's These site are cornfields, right? Yes, this is a cornfield. Um, this field will be will be cut very soon, and then we'll be able to move the wood away from the away from the riparian corridor. We couldn't burn it in place, of course, because we'd light the trees on fire. Um, but the wood will be moved into the field. Um, we'll, we'll light it in a way um, that, that will be ecologically beneficial as well. What relation did the did the uh, Laguna have with the flooding of the field? I I, I was told that that was a necessary or that was uh, something that was desirable. Well, the, the, this is a is a floodplain system, mm -hmm. and this field does flood naturally. Mm -hmm. um, that's part of what's actually depositing the trash here. This, the laguna picks up when it's moving fast, and the tributaries and creeks that flow into the system are flowing very quickly in the winter. They're carrying a lot of trash. They're also carrying the, the nutrients and sediments um, that make this uh, agriculture possible here, that make it a very fertile field. Um, but increasingly, those tributaries are carrying trash as well, as well as a lot of, of cut wood. It's, it's important to notice that this wood, a lot of it um, has chainsaw marks. Um, it was cut. It wasn't It wasn't just down trees that, that fell naturally. So, um, yeah, the laguna is, is basically the number of tributaries that feed into the laguna, this wood and debris is, is collecting here um, because those tributaries are coming into the laguna and then they're slowing down and they're dropping their load. So the property owners were saying that, that the water was staying out there longer mm -hmm. because it wasn't draining over here. It's not draining to some degree. The, the, the trash is actually creating a dam that's backing up the laguna, okay. as well as the, the sediment and, and debris that's been, that's been growing over many, many years. Okay, thank you.